busy single mom. My son Douglas always finds a way to make me happy, even if it's just picking a flower while he's walking, just to put a smile in my face. Thank you, give me a kiss. I'm so grateful for that because those little moments that he gives me, those are the little moments that I share, share is all the time. Nice and clean. Let me see your teeth. Wow. And the other Deborah Lee is a party girl about to have her second breast augmentation at age 26. And she's on a determined manhunt. I love plastic surgery. I think it is the best thing that ever happened. I've gotten already three different types of surgeries. I've done breast augmentation, liposuction, mini tummy tuck. I want more. We were trying to aim for a natural look, but I no longer decide to have a natural look. I want to have larger breasts. Once you get it done once, you have to get it twice. Why not? The size that I'm hoping to get is more like a double D, 32 double D. A huge double D. Very perky, um, big breast. I want to look like a Playboy Playmate. I am looking to find that perfect half, my soulmate, the one that I could spend the rest of my life with. I know men have a fantasy of having a Playboy Playmate. That's what I want to be, tits and a stick. The type of man that I'm looking for is a successful man. Like Puffy. 35 and up. George Clooney. At least six feet tall with blue eyes. Ben Affleck, definitely. My family thinks that I'm crazy by doing, by having another breast augmentation. They say that I'm fine the way I am at this moment, but it's my body, so whether they like it or not, I care less about their opinion. It's not just Deborah Lee's family. On a girls' night out in Manhattan, her friends also seem shocked by her decision to have more surgery. What do you, Maybe? Think, what do you think that's going to make you better a person or more attractive? No, not a, but, yeah, a little bit more attractive, like in between Pamela Anderson and Camera Electra, you know? But is there another reason that Deborah Lee is going back for more? Plus, anyway, you gotta see my doctor. Yes. Oh, yeah. I saw him. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, she went to, oh, my God. He's fabulous. He's gorgeous. What? Really? He's the, he's the doctor that you see in the soap opera and you die for. Dr. Carve Elizade is a 37-year-old surgeon at the Long Island Plastic Surgical Group and lives in Manhattan's Upper East Side. When his surgery schedule allows, he puts down his scalpel and picks up a sculptor's chisel. Most of us that uh, do plastic surgery have some kind of a creative outlet. Concepts are similar in terms of having to, in your head mentally, to having to design it. Dr. Elizade does both cosmetic and reconstructive surgery, including regular stints on call at several ERs on Long Island. I have uh, a emergency right now at Winthrop Hospital, and I have another one at uh, Mercy Hospital. And I have one that I have to call. Sounds like there's another one. So I got, we got three cooking. 26-year-old Deborah Lee wants a second breast augmentation 18 months after her last one. But that might not be as straightforward as she thinks. I'm not a big fan of putting huge implants in. <laughs> not bigger. You mean bigger? Be bigger. I think if we put a bigger implant, in terms of size, it's just not going to look natural for her since she has a pretty small uh, body frame. Yeah. Yeah, right? that's good. Nice. Deborah Lee and Dr. Elisa Day meet to discuss their differing opinions. So, I know we talked a while back about uh, you talked about you want, wanting to change okay. the implants. Yeah. And go larger. Uh, to become larger. Yes. Okay. Uh, give me your thoughts. Give me your reason for why you're interested in doing that. <laughs> well, I want them bigger. Like when the first time we did the surgery, um, they looked the, when they were swollen, they were really up. So I wanted them like that all the time. So you wanted to be like, like they were initially right after the surgery when they were swollen. Yes. Okay. Yes. 
And what size is your uh, bra size now? It's anywhere between a D and a double D. Right now? Yes. But you like to be larger? Like a whole full size double D. Okay. Yeah. Like, you know, somewhere between Pamela Anderson and Camera Electra. Okay. You know, perfect size. Obviously, you know, the goal of the breast augmentation is for you to be happy. Okay. And sort of we went as large as I thought was comfortable enough for your body. But you have to understand if you want to be even larger, that it could potentially stretch out the skin and the breast tissue. And then, and then what that will bring my well, breast Well, over a period down. of time, it can bring the breast tissue down, so you would need a lift with time, over a period of time. Because you have gravity that's always working against us, unfortunately. Okay, we can't do anything about that. Yeah. <laughs> and we have time that's always working against us. So but then I have, I have you for you to fix me. <laughs> <laughs> will Deborah Lee get her way? Or will Dr. Lisa Day persuade her against going bigger? Are we going now? Yes. It's operation time. Deborah Lee and Dr. Lisa Day had different opinions about whether she should increase the size of her breast implants. So what was the outcome of their double D debate? So today we're actually going to just uh, put a similar size implant with a high projection so that it has it's not bigger in size per se, but it has creates a bigger projection on the breast. This is your pina colada. <laughs> Out with the old, in with the new. Single mom Deborah Lee wanted breasts bigger than her previous D cup implants. Instead, her surgeon Dr. Lisa Day gave her differently shaped implants with greater projection. Two months on, she still thinks she was in the right. He suggested that it wasn't good for me because in the long run I will have back problems, which I don't have a problem with that because then I just have to have a chiropractor and I'll have you know somebody to give me a message or something to fix me up. There's always something to fix. Um, but he said that no, that it wasn't right and it would not look normal because of my weight and my height that I'm very, I guess, petite, small, and it wouldn't look normal, which I didn't mind that either. I just wanted it more round. It's just like Pamela Anderson just kind of But Deborah Lee's friend Helga does notice her new breasts. Wow, baby, that's Beautiful, I like it. You like it? Yes. Yeah? Wow. Well, let's go inside the table. We can find my future husband. Okay, right. so let's go. I'm hoping that one day I will meet Mr. Wright, somebody that, you know, professional, um, well-educated man that my son could look up to and just see everybody getting engaged, everybody getting married except me. And, you know, hoping to that one day I get to walk that out to at the end see Mr. Wright next to my son and be able to, to have a happy life. When I meet the, the right man and the man of my dreams that I hope to some, someday meet, uh, then he'll be happy because I'll be looking like a little playboy playmate.